What's up, everyone? We're back with the 1K Show. This episode, we're doing Duck Souls. Now, this name is quite fitting because you are going to die a lot. But in the nature of this show, we're going to show you how to get 1,000 camera score or platinum trophy in less than an hour. It took us 45 minutes to complete, so give or take 10 minutes for varying skill levels. You'll do just fine. This game can be found on the Xbox Marketplace and the PlayStation Network for $6.49 Canadian. And for you PC players out there, $2 on Steam. Now, rather than show you our 45 minute playthrough, we're going to explain the achievements. 20 of these achievements are story related and that's simply every 5 levels you will get an achievement for unlocking an item. There are 100 levels in the game. There's only one missable achievement, and that's on level 75, which we're going to show you here shortly. For anyone just watching this video for the missable achievement, we'll leave a timestamp in the description for you to follow and get straight to it. For those of you here for a complete walkthrough, we're going to show you some of the mechanics of the game and show you some of the contraptions that'll get you killed and how to conquer them. This is our first level with a jump pad. You can just simply jump on it and it launches you up in the air. And this is the first level too that you'll need to use the B button to kind of dash, uh, which the game doesn't explain to you. So here's me just freaking out for a moment, and then I figure it out. Our next enemy is these slow moving projectiles. You'll simply need to just dash past them and get to that checkpoint. Next mechanic are these switches and hollowed out blocks. When you run into the switch, the hollowed out blocks will disappear getting you killed, or opening up the path to the next area. Here we have moving platforms. The big thing to note for these is you can press down and A to fall through them, which you'll need for later on levels. Here we have the cherries. Normally the dash ability only recharges once you've landed on the ground again, but with the cherries you can dash twice. Here we're going to have rockets that endlessly chase you, reminding me completely of N plus back in the day. These target blocks here, after you step on them, will disappear on you, so you'll need to move quick and plan out your moves before you even do them. These snow-like blocks can be dashed through to create new paths, allowing you to avoid rockets and cases where it seems hopeless. Here we have these boulder-like structures and if you cross their path they come launching at you. Here we have teleporters, the blue orb being the entrance and the orange one being the exit. You cannot go back through the orange afterward. Here we have a dark gun. It fires a fast moving projectile that does not track thankfully. Here is level 75, and this uh, level here we'll be fighting our missable achievement, which is just at the second checkpoint. Simply just run right into that wall, see some dinosaur and a dog, maybe? Some sort of creature. And uh, that'll get you your missable achievement. I decided to leave this part in because I found it was probably my most difficult area to complete, but I did figure out with these platforms that as long as you don't leave them, they don't kill you. Here's our second last notable mechanic and these are mines so as soon as you jump into their area of effect they trigger and get ready to explode on you. You'll have about 0.5 in a second to get out. 
And finally, here is our last mechanic. As soon as you hit that stone-like creature, it triggers into a ghost that'll chase you around endlessly. So you'll just need to keep on the move, get past it, and this is also the final level, and here is the completion of the game. 100 levels for all of the achievements. We hope you enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you next time on the 1K Show Episode 5.